Hi, my name is Mike Tyler, and in this video, we're going to be looking at one of Richard Mayer's 12 multimedia instructional principles. The multimedia principle states use words and pictures, not just words. Well, this is simple enough. Mayer suggests that learning happens most effectively when both channels of working memory are simultaneously engaged, but obviously not overloaded. That is the visual and the verbal channels, also called the pictorial and auditory channels. By presenting to both these channels using graphics alongside words, a double memory trace is produced in the long term memory. The referential connections between those traces manifests in greater ability to problem solve using the knowledge that's been learned. Using verbal information on its own even relatively simple, uncomplicated sentences, induces significantly greater computational challenge for your learners than does a graphic. The visual argument proposed by Larkin and Simon supports this, stating that the computational efficiency of diagrams and graphics is greater than that of verbal information, whether written or spoken. In this example, there's only text on the slide. According to the multimedia principle, some additional graphical or diagrammatic material would be helpful, especially if this enabled the presenter to reduce the volume of text on the slide. Also, as far as the layout goes, it would be better for the text to be left aligned, as this makes it easy for the eyes to find the start of each new line. In my slide on the right, the numbered list indicates which stage of the bone remodeling process we've got to enabling some contextualization and hopefully assisting my students in schema construction. And the diagram itself is monochrome, simple, and shows only the essential information to be learned. Sweller, Ayres and Caliuga wrote in 2001, quote, working memory capacity can be effectively increased and learning improved by using a dual mode presentation. So in summary, the multimedia principle is Use words and pictures, not just words. Well, I hope that's been helpful to you. See you in the next video.